<laughs> General Tafiri, who appeared to be in a good mood, clarified that he has been a sugar dealer for quite some time and cannot defy an order that was in his own words, not directed at him. He told journalists that President Museveni was talking about speculators, non-genuine businessmen such as himself. This is my business. I don't hide it. It's not illegitimate. And that I'm going to continue dealing in sugar, this strategy is not withstanding. Otafire says he has already engaged in discussions with the president over this issue and he claims they both share the same opinion with regard to banning politicians and other speculators from trading in sugar. For some reason, some politicians, I don't know, I, I don't want to, to go into, have also taken advantage of the situation. And I think this is what the president is complaining about. You know, it's in my interest that this politician should be stopped. Uh, yes, I'm a politician, all right, but I'm also a legitimate businessman. In a further twist, the minister told journalists that the recent dubious press reports about him are being fueled by persons who are politically witch hunting him as they follow their own hidden agendas. I would like to advise my friend Tamarin Rundi that since he's not a general, he should leave issues of the generals to the generals. They know how they do their thing. <laughs> he should leave matters of the generals to the generals. For them, they know how they do their thing. Uh, we know what is an order. We know what is not an order. We know... Uh, so Tamarim Rundi, my friend, should concentrate on fighting with fellow civilians. <laughs> <laughs> General Tafire says the whole saga is intended to create a wedge between him, President Museveni and the public, as well as an attempt to graft him on the list of what he called mega swindlers. Michael Baleke, NTV.